Hi guys, it's Anelius, and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Let's load in the last save game, which we're playing as Sonampa in this instance. Sonampa is our Imperial female melee fighter. Let's carry on. We're currently level 12. So that is about on par with actually the episode we're on. This is, I believe, episode 12 or so. So, we got a bit of a mix of armor and weaponry at the moment. There we go. So looking at ourselves now, we got, of course, a dwarven piece of armor. We got a former sword and a former shield. So it's probably not the best combination, but... Uh, <coughs> aesthetically, I mean, it's not the best combination, but for the moment it'll have to do. Let's just double check in the shop that there's no more dwarven armor. So, what are we looking for? Uh, let's see what they got for sale in terms of apparel. Dwarven armor is what we're wearing. Um, gauntlets. I don't think I've got dwarven gauntlets let yet. Um, white armor items, okay. Dwarven gauntlets. Good. Let's double check. What kind of apparel have I got at the moment in terms of gauntlets? Imperial. So let's buy those dwarven like gauntlets. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to see. Right. Dwarven gauntlets. There we go. Dwarven armor I already have. Just the gauntlets I didn't have. And I don't think I've got the boots yet. Um, if I come across more dwarven stuff, that'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. For now, I'm just going to have to make sure I upgrade this first. Well, upgrade it first. I probably don't even have to do the upgrading first. Just straight away, just put it on dwarven gauntlets. <coughs> As you can see, that looks better already. Dwarven metal ingot. I just need to buy one of those from this young lady here. Got some good pieces out. Looking to protect yourself? Or yes, I am. Looking to protect yourself or deals? Take a look. What's wrong? What is wrong? Dwarven metal ingot. There we go. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Cool. Let's upgrade these gauntlets. Nice. Actually, where are we going? In the last episode, we just did some work on the eastern side over here. We traveled all the way to the Darkwater Pass. Let's travel out to there. And let's make our way to the village from here. So as you can see, I got my out of the, the pass. Now where is the other side? Really? Must be way out from here, but okay. Ah, there. Exactly there. And of course, we also got a bridge there, which makes that uh, possible to navigate. <coughs> cool. So I took a slight detour. I went through the mountains instead of along the mountains, which is, of course, perfect. Oh, what happened to my bow? Ah, I placed my bow away. I put my bow away. That doesn't help, does it? Alright, let's just uh, get this little pussycat. Pussycat, pussycat. Alright, anything else in here? Of course, mushrooms. Perfect. <coughs> so not having a bow does make it slightly harder. <coughs> but okay. There's nothing we cannot deal with. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get our hands on a bow shortly anyways.
Cool. There's a bunch of goats here, which I could have shot if I had a, a bow and arrow, which I don't at the moment. And I'm heading the wrong way, which makes this pretty hard. All right, let's have a look here. Iverstead. Okay, well, actually, Iverstead, it says it's this way. <coughs> Dwarven armor looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. Of course, I'll want to replace that with some uh, dragon armor at some point. No way. Just when I don't have... When I don't have any... Bow and arrow on me. There's a dragon here. Oh, absolutely fabulous. Let's try to find that dragon. If I can fight that dragon with my sword, that'd be amazing. I'm just not sure that that is possible. What is he fighting? What is he going after? I'm a bit confused here. Yes, Mr. Bear. Their end is nigh. Alright, do you know what happened to the dragon? <coughs> I got a wee suspicion he's been doing some work up here, but I'm not sure. There we go. That's the way we deal with the wolves. Little puffs. You should know better than to attack me. Look at how well armored I am. I'm wearing heavy armor all over. <coughs> Even the foxes are afraid of me. <coughs> There is some kind of outpost here, or dungeon, or I don't know what. Ah, a cave. Anyways, there won't be more iron ore here. <coughs> like I said in the last episode, every time I come across orb, I will be mining it. Amethysts. <coughs> of course, welcome additions as well. Cool. 
But the one thing that still surprised me in the game is that once you smelt the iron, it's heavier than if it's not smelted. So it's in its raw form, it's lighter than in its basic processed form. A peculiar. Highly peculiar, to be honest. <coughs> Right, someone got attacked here. You're looking a little rough. Bandits attacked and ransacked my car. My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely. And you'll be rewarded for that. In the roads of Nilheim. All right, let's uh, bear in mind this is a trap. Of course, we need to be able to deal with that. Just across the bridge and up <coughs> the hill. Cool. Yeah, I'll follow you. We're close now. I can see the camp. Wait here. I'll be right back with you. Need something? Need something? Need something? I knew I could find you. Alright, that's one left. Alright, that's lots of bandits, which is always good fun. The wine lockpick. There we go. That's how we deal with that guy. We're pretty heavily wounded, but <coughs> I'm sure we can deal with situations like that. Longbow, I guess it's the best we can do for the moment. In terms of weapons, because I left my bow at home. Where is he? Let's have a look through here. Think you can take me? Yep, I'm pretty sure I can. That's the way to take you down, I guess. Oceans, wardrobes. Actually, the value to waste ratio is pretty good. Let's uh, take it after all. Nice. Oops, not to forget the coin pouch. Yeah. Alright, lots of nice things here. I did undress you. I'm sorry, my love. I'm truly sorry. 
Maybe not. <coughs> Anyways, so I found here Nilheim <coughs> and I cleared it. Oops, there were some flowers there. All right. Really? Yeah, it's not so bad. My original thought on it was it's going to be uh, not so much fun to play. Of course, my first cl uh, class here was a, a caster. Then I had an archer. Then I had a thief. Uh, I had fun with all of those. Yeah, of course, thief is, of course, melee. But uh, yeah, thus far, happy days. I can most definitely not complain about uh, how this all worked out. Oh, what have we got here? I am waiting for <coughs> death. Yes, were I to simply lay my Malik, as you can see, it is <coughs> not yet arrived. So they are not the strong. Indeed, we are to cling to something past its usefulness <coughs> is unseemly. How much you should leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. Are you sure about this? <coughs> mm, we shall see. Never should have come here. There you go. <coughs> I've given you a good death. It's called a good death. Let's heal up. I hope that this uh, satisfied your soul and you've been able to move on. But we'll see. We will see in a minute. Explore this area here. <coughs> Just gonna have a look at this windmill here. See what it actually does. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Do I? This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Hmm. Heard about you and your honeyed words. The Imperials think we need their laws. I'm a bit busy at the moment. What did you actually I'm growing it if you hadn't I'm the only person alive wow. to cultivate <coughs> Nurn root from a seed to a I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the Nurn root. I haven't seen him in many years. I used to be. I actually owned a shop in the city, city long ago. Perhaps someday. Is it that obvious? Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of nurnroot, keeping a tight. Really, one of the ingredients I need to cultivate nurnroot uh, is yes, uh, grapes. The acidic content of the juice is perfect for the soil. I need 20 for my current crop. Twenty Jasper. Okay. Yes. Aduri is what some would, if we were, but around here, there is a tremendous amount of work to get done. 
Okay. what we can do cultivating oh just by grapes god knows where they can be found we will find a bunch of them that i'm sure of that just need to find where and how fox belt Look at that, there's money to be found here. Money to be found. Right, go to the island near the edge of the lake. Look f for where a great tree once stood. That's where I buried it. Really? Right, let's <coughs> just have a look. amateurs compared to what I'm wearing. There we go. Sword is properly in them. Oh well. Truly sorry about that, but uh, you attacked me first. Wow. I guess there's of course multiple ways we can basically uh, make this come to an end. Alright, we're still following the road. It's a bit of a roundabout route, but uh, we're getting there slowly. There. Nurn route. It's always nice to be able to hear where the Nurn route is. Like, bzzz. it's this 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 jingle in the in the in the background there. Always quite useful. Strong lady, apparently. <coughs> What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. What? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. Alright, iron ingot, potion of healing, potion of stamina, iron ore. <coughs> What's a silver ore? Um, banded iron armor. Okay. Dwarven helmet. I think I got one of those already, but. Steel cuffed boots. Orcish war axe. Yeah, let's leave the rest for now. Let's deal with this uh, weirdo here. 
I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. In the mountains to the northeast, I'll mark it on your map. I'm pretty sure I got it on my map already, but uh, thank you anyways. There we go. Why did he not deal with the second wolf? Oh well, it doesn't matter. At least I dealt with it. I'm pretty sure that I'm heading in a relatively similar direction as you, my friend. I'm pretty sure this is not the quickest way to get to the town I was heading over to. go. That's the way to kill a, uh, a bear. Uh, Iverstead, yep, we're heading in the right direction it looks like. Level up is available, yes, I am aware of that. There we go. That's one, and that's two. And that's three. Okay, cool. we got here? There is something here. Honey Strand Cave. Combination, wasn't it? Cool. Well, I guess the episode is called the the road to Arverstead because it took me a pretty long time to get here, didn't it? And there's quite a bit of uh, mayhem in the area as well. If I look at this carefully. Did I hit something there? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. What do we got there? there were slaughterfish or something like that here but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case
Okay. Oh well, I missed. That's for sure. Oh well, things happen. Things happen. It's not a really big problem though. Uh -huh, you're referring to me, of course, huh? Alright, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it a day. We found Iverstead, so that should be visible on the map now. There we go. Visible on the map, because, of course, we found the place. We're going to log out at the uh, entrance to the inn. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.